Hey coach, uh, so glad you found our, our video. Just like Wesley here, hope you have your hand up. Make sure you go over and subscribe and like. We, we really appreciate that. You'll get a new video every day if you do that. Um, second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you win some state championships. Let me help you 30 plus years of coaching. Um, let me help you through it, save time, have more fun, win more games. I know that's what we all want to do. So go over and check out teachhoops.com and let's head off to the video. Hey, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. You got to got to refocus, coach. <laughs> That's <right>. Episode <laughs> episode 16. Coach and I have literally been talking for an hour and a half, over an hour and a half probably. And then we then I turned to him and said, "We better get on a podcast." That's, That's right. We get yeah. together today. Oh my uh, goodness. It was yeah. a good conversation, though. It was, it was uh, a great conversation. It was a great conversation, and we'll and and we'll, and we talked about your new your new site. So let's 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 do it. Let's do a plug for that. We'll a plug, yeah, we bas yeah okay. basketball practice plans uh, coming along really well. Thanks to everyone who uh, you know is interested in that, giving me feedback so far. Yeah, we plan on launching that in the fall. Make it super simple. End of August. He's going to launch at the end yeah, of August. Yeah. I'm calling him out on it. You want to so, pick a date? Why don't you pick a specific date again? I could be yeah. like Lee. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, so what? What? Um, so what happens when they go to bat? It's basketball practice, practice plan plans dot com plans plural plural yep. dot com. And what happens when they go to that site right now? Like if they're going to yeah, listen to this end of July. Yeah, basically, they're just filling out an interest form, right? Yeah, I'm interested in the launch when you guys go public. This is a, you know, a problem that I have, and I want to solve it, right? Um, and, you know, what's important there is to give me some good feedback, too. Like, what are you struggling with? So right. when it does go live, I can really focus on those problems that you guys are all. I'm going to give all of you a hint, too. If you get on that list, you're going to get like a special deal that no one else is going to get. So yeah, absolutely. You yeah. want in you early. Want, that's absolutely right. Yeah, that's <laughs> we, and that's, we, that was an hour conversation. That, we that was no, but it was like, yeah. I, he, teach hoops.com has been around for five years. When it started, it was nine bucks a month. You know, yeah. it's not nine bucks a month anymore, people. So I'm just telling you, get on that list. And then, yeah, you're going to want to be on the list. Yeah, and really, you know, again, just to emphasize, it's really for youth coaches, kindergarten right. through eighth grade. Um, you know, maybe it's you know it's the mom or dad. They don't, you know, they might have played, maybe they didn't, um, and they're you know they just need some help. And it's going to be print ready, um, practice ready, practice yep. plans, and a system behind it. I would have. Uh, here's here's the biggest compliment I can pay you, Bill. Is mm -hmm. I've been coaching thirty plus years. I would have bought this with my son. Like when I was coaching my son's yeah. youth team, I would have bought it. because, And I would have too. I just, you know, when yeah. I first started coaching, it's like, just tell me what to do because. Right. Because I got other things to worry about. That's I right. got my own team to worry about. Like, I'm just saying, it's like, I yeah. get it. Yeah, I get it. All right. So, all right. All right there, that, good, that was a good ad, but was, it's true though. It's true. And, and if anything, I have opinions and I was breaking his website down. So what do you, what I saw today, you won't <laughs> see. I was going, Bill, change this and change this. And this looks good. And I like very apple like I, I liked it um all right so what's today's topic coach episode 16 episode uh 16 we are going to be talking about how to i, I we put a we put a, uh, a poll out on our facebook group called you know coaching youth hoops facebook group uh we asked our uh community what are they struggling with right now and i gave them three options um, and one of the things that they came back with overwhelmingly was the idea of translating this, the skills they teach in a practice and translating those to the game, right? Um, and I remember struggling this, with this too. And I, I, to be honest, sometimes I still do, right? Looking at my team, we were practicing. But this is what's always, uh, this is funny, right? So I, we're, it's, game is happening. We just, for the last three or four practices, we worked on X. <laughs> Parents are in the stands. And they see what's going on. And I know what they're thinking. It's like, they've never practiced how to beat a zone. Right. That's what they're thinking. Right? That's what yeah. they're thinking. Like, mm -hmm. who is this joker, right? And, <laughs> and I'm thinking in my head, you know how many, t you know how many hours we spent? <laughs> Literally, we add it all up on how to beat a zone, right? And it's just like, okay. So the point is, how do you translate the, you know, the, the teachings that you do in a practice and make 
and and have them have the kids be game ready to um to execute to um, execute it's because i have the same issues trust me there's parents in my stands that go have you never like we spent the last three weeks working on that yeah. um i think it's putting them in situations like the small-sided games the competitive stuff like yeah. i was seeing it today when we were doing some of our uh, of our workouts is um just you know the help and recover the you know things that i know they should know but they don't know or they have forgotten um we're just i got to put them in situations where it keeps happening over and over and over again so it becomes like that muscle memory where they're not thinking about it like they know that they got to get some um some other things so does that make sense it's like i was doing that with mine today a lot yeah yeah, so the small-sided games, you know, you want to put them in situations, you know, for example, small-sided game, small game might be um, you, you know, um, uh, what do we use? So, for example, you have, it could be timed, right? And you might have a, we have a 30-second shot clock, right? So you could be a shot clock, right? And you have to execute the offense within 30 seconds. If you don't, obviously, it's a turnover, right? Or you might put 20 seconds on the clock because that's what, you know, you just broke their press and now you got 20 seconds to fulfill the offense. Um, another thing might be, um, uh, you know, take one person out on offense or the defensive side and run something that way. Because a lot of times that happens in transition, right? Um, I also like to do combination drills where it's not just teaching one thing, right? So not break it away. If I'm not teaching offense, I'm not teaching defense. But I'm teaching, um, I'm getting the kid. It's just, I hate just get, hey, get, okay, go do lines. I hate that. I think that's just a waste right. in a practice time. Now, of course, if there's a discipline or whatever, okay, different story. But just to go out and run. it's like Right, sometimes we'll do it. As, I do it as a win-loss thing. Yeah, exactly. don't like it, they're like, it's no, like, no, no, oh, you win-loss. lose, you got to go up and down or something. I just hate yeah, conditioning yeah. in basketball too. practice for the sake of conditioning. Right. Your drills and what you do right you should be going at game speed once you get past the teaching phase and when you're in the 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 training stage they should be you know running those things at game speed and of course if you're doing scrimmaging in these small-sided games it has to be at game speed okay and that's where you get some of your conditioning in but the combination drills what i'm kind of speaking of is um you know for example i have this one where there's four cones there's there there's two cones at the corners at the three-point line and the baseline and then there's two cones up straight up at um, just outside the three point line. Okay. And kids start at underneath the basket, shuffle out to one of the cones. So they're doing, they're working their defensive stance. They shuffle out one uh, to the cones. There's another um, one of their teammates underneath the basket with a basketball. Right. Okay? So now they're shuffled out to the first cone on the corner. They have to sprint to the second cone, call for the ball. So then we got a pass in there from the kid underneath the basket. They have to do a move, right? And then they go, there's five spots on the floor that I've designated. And I have those little round numbered spots that I throw down, right? And they're flat and they stick to the, you know, they got a little sticky stuff on the back. Uh, You can buy those on Amazon. that they then have to go shoot at, we have to go find the number and they go right. shoot at it. Now from there, what they're getting is they got the defensive stance. They have five shots they have to get and they always come back to home base to start. So they do shot number one, they run back to underneath the basket, shuffle to the other side. Now they're going the other way, run up to the cone, find the second shot, run underneath the hoop, shuffle back the other way. And then they're doing that five times. So they're getting their conditioning in. Guess what else they're getting in, right? They're getting catching a pass, they're receiving the pass. I mean, receiving the pass and also passing from their teammates. Um, They're getting shots under pressure because we can, we'll make it a contest. How many did you get? How fast did you complete it in? Right. Um, So, you know, see, this is combination drills and they love it because the one they're competing Two, I know they're getting conditioned because they're tired after round one. Right. And then each round we change it. So sometimes we say um, if we have two people now underneath the basket, one person doing the actual drill, 
if I call a number, you pass to you pass to Steve. If I call an animal, you pass to me. So Ooh, then they I got like a decision making yes. part of it as well, right? So you can do all kinds of things, all kinds of different combinations with one drill that just encompasses everything in it to make it more game like. Right. I think that's the key is you got to most things should be working on like this morning we were on a help side. We were kind of closing out. We were working on passing. We were working on, you know, small like two on two kind of reading the offense, keeping them out of the middle things that. Yes. If it just does one thing, it's useless in my opinion for a drill. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't have their attention for that long. And if, if you want it to be game, like it has to be those multiple things going on. I agree hundred yeah. percent. And then sometimes what I'm doing too, is I'm in that mix and I'll go do a closeout when they're at their three point spot, just to right. bug them, right. Get my hands up. And, you know, again, if you're teaching or if you're coaching youth teams, you can do the same. It's just like, maybe just, you know, make a movement towards the player who's shooting is again, game like, right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't usually just get a wide open shot. Right. Or most times you're not. So anyway, that, I think you're, yeah, go ahead. I, I, no, I think that's the, I think that aspect of it is, and to be honest with you, like I was trying something this morning and I was tweaking it as I was doing it. Like <laughs> this didn't, too. you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. this doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So I got to try this. And we were doing some stuff with people running around chairs and playing with, and it's like, well, this one wasn't in the right spot. So I had to kind of tweak it and I had to make it because I want it to be competitive. I want them to have those reads that they need to have. That's right. Um, so a drill is only as good as you are and is your willingness to kind of adjust it to, like whoa we weren't like we were doing one where we were it was a disadvantage so it was a it was a three on three drill but um the defender was on the side of the offensive player to start it so they had a mm. you know if you get somebody on your hip you have an advantage well how is the defense going to read it well what happens if it's in the middle of the court what happens if it's on the side of the court so i was working on different aspects of things that i kind of knew we needed to work on yeah um you know, they can flip it around and, and take it off their back. And then that's even a bigger advantage for the offense. So I'm, I'm making, I'm, I'm making it so it's more even. So they have to do more reads and more learning to be honest with you. And that's, and that, and that's what they have to do in a game because how many decisions do you make in a basketball game in like three minutes, like oh hundreds, goodness. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's so fast and so many decisions being made that you have to be able to teach them to do that. I agree. Well, and the, you know, that's the that's the thing is you can't you know that that's the hard part about our job is translate is the translation because the defense when you're in a game the defense never cooperates like it did in in your basketball practice right, right. <laughs> and you say go right. to this spot well I can't because there's three people three defenders in that spot right now or maybe one of my teammates is there I'm like coach you told me to go to that spot right. So right. there's never, there's, there's never an always, right. Always go there, always do this. Right. Um, and it just, it, it's, it's such a dynamic game. And if you don't practice those um, uh, game like drills, right. They're not going to be able to make those decisions in no. the game itself. So, no. and the game is always, a, is always changing. You never shoot it's a fluid. layup. The, it's fluid. You never shoot a layup the same way twice ever. Yeah. Ever. That's right. Yeah. So practice doing it different ways, you know, mm -hmm. um, and that's, I think, I think that will help convert that, what you're talking about, that, that change. I think yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Great coach uh, till next week. So, It'll be well, August. Let's talk you... about, Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, let's talk about what's coming up though. Let's tease well, it a little bit. What like is I, coming up? Well, what's coming up. So uh, you ready for this? I, I thought about this one on our hour phone call. I don't think we addressed this issue yet. I was looking back and maybe I'm wrong, but we never talked about, I think a very controversial topic, zone defense at the youth level. We haven't talked about that? I don't think so. Oh, we're going to have to definitely talk about that. Hey, because I think that's did you see, that's did you see the, the comments in the back, Facebook but, group? Oh no, which one? Uh, well, about zone and stuff. I think there was somebody. Maybe it was in the. Maybe it was in the other Facebook group. But there, people were talking about zones and off and youth. Yeah, um, no, exactly. I think we need to talk about that one, and then let's come back the following week to talk about. Well, one, should you do it? And we know. I mean, you know, we got some strong opinions on both sides, right? And then um, how to beat a zone. We'll come back then in the following. Ooh, week that's a good August. A and then we're gonna, yeah. and then, and then coach is gonna be wanting to talk about his practice. Pot, oh yeah, 
We're going to be talking. Cool. I, I, I think, again, I, I, I say, if, if, you know, I'm going to be, if there's one thing that coaches really do, and I, I, they need to spend more time on the practice plan. Yep. Because uh, just this little conversation we had on this podcast alone, it's like you, your mind's going to explode if you don't get structured, right, on these little things. Um, there's just so much you have to work on. You don't walk into a classroom without a lesson plan. That's You're right. not going to walk to practice without, without a sure. basketball plan. All right, you know, until next week, right. Coach. See you, Coach. Bye. Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.